Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived at Style Railway Station. I haven't come by train though, no. I've come in my larder. What we're gonna do in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. This isn't a history video as such. Um, obviously up the road is Quarry Bank Mill. We're not gonna go there, but we are going to go to some of the National Trust lands and we're gonna to go to Style Village and we're gonna go and walk along the River Bolin because I've been looking at the OS map recently of this area and I noticed a footpath that looks rather exciting because it goes very close to Manchester Airport. In fact, it goes so close, it's actually gonna go under the runway. And I saw that and I thought, I've got to go down that footpath. So here we are, we're at Style. We're gonna jump in my larder. I'm gonna drive up to the village of Style and then we're gonna go um, hunting for footpaths that go under runways. So here we are, we've arrived at Style in my larder. What we're gonna do, we're gonna head up towards the village we're going to walk through the old workers village we're not actually going into any of the buildings but it is quite an exciting day out if you come to quarry bank mill you see the the big old mill and you can go you get tours of some of the workers houses and it really is worth doing um so i did that last year i had a great time i didn't actually make a video um occasionally i sometimes go out and think i won't make a video today most of those days i end up making a video but on that occasion i didn't actually make a video but i looked around the whole place and really enjoyed it so that really is worth coming to see but today we're, we're going down into the country park and uh, we're going to follow the river bolin as i said but it's really the fact that i've looked on um, the os map and seen this footpath that goes under the runway of manchester airport that that's kind of what's brought us here but as we walk along look at here's some of the lovely houses you get in the village of style so um, i'm going to carry on walking up here and uh, soon we shall be able to get into the style estate properly so not much further just just a little way along here so i just walked up the road and um, here we come into the style estate proper so you can see there is um the National Trust sign, which says style, so we are officially in a National Trust place now. Um, we're going to walk down this cobbled road. Up here, th there's an interesting church. It's a non-conformist church, which is, you know, um, the church the workers would have gone to. So, like I said, you, um, we're not we're not actually here to sort of have a look in and out all the buildings at Quarry Bank Mill, but I do recommend doing it. They've even got steam engines in Quarry Bank Mill, not, not as in um, the railway or the road type, but as in stationary steam engines. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a great day out. You, you really ought to come here. But today we're, we're going to, to look for this footpath that takes us under, you know, I just sort of, it's, it's one of those things, I saw it on the map and until I've been there, I'm just not going to stop talking about it. I've kind of got to take myself to see it. I'm just going to show this to you. If you have a look over there, see those houses? I had a look in one of them last year when I came here um, and visited the National Trust property. They do tours of those houses and you can see them just as they would have been in, in their day. So I'm going to carry on down here and further down into style. So I've had a very nice walk down through the woodlands and we are now heading down towards the River Bolling. So you can just see the river down down there. There's been a stream flowing down below us down there, quite a steep drop. So the stream is obviously a tributary of the River Bolling. Now, as I've said about the mill, I said we're not going there today, but you know, it's something worth doing. If you were visiting the mill as well, then you'd have probably parked in the Mills car park. You could have walked down the way we came. You get to here, this is the um, gate to the garden. So this is a little shed, you show them your ticket to show you've paid to come into the site, and then that would admit you to the gardens and onto the mill. But where we are now, this is, um, this is a permissive path, I believe. So, you know, it's, you can come down here pretty much whenever you like. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow this path over this nice little bridge here. And walk beside the river Bolin. In fact, what I'm going to do before we do that there's like a little beach and there's some steps down to it. So we'll go down and have a really close look at the river Bolin. So I will carry on down there. I don't know if the sound's picking it out, but I can hear the sound of aircraft engines. So, as nice and as tranquil and as peaceful as this place looks, it is nice and tranquil and peaceful, but you get the odd interruption from aircraft noises. But you know, that's um, 
it doesn't bother me to, to be honest. So come down here, get a nice look at the that bridge there. There you go. That's the bridge we just walked over. And the water flows into the River Bolin. So I'm going to follow it on the path up there. I'm going to explore River Bolin till we get to the runway of Manchester Airport. Well, I've followed the meandering River Bolin all round here. So only 50 yards or so, the river is over there, and it is literally just down there. Um, so it's gone right round on this big meander. Now, it's at this point on the path here. If I follow the path straight on along the river, it'll take me back up to style. So later on when I walk back up to my car, that's where I'll be going. But what we're going to do, we're going to go over this bridge. It's called the Oxbow Bridge. That's because if it ever happens in about a million years' time, when the water goes straight across there and this no longer is a meander, this bit of water here will be known as an oxbow lake. So we're going to cross the oxbow bridge, so it's very optimistic um, to call it that because, like I said, it's probably about a million years away, <laughs> this section of water from becoming an oxbow lake, but, you know, it's a nice name. You get more little sort of beaches on the river and um, I'm going to continue following the footpath along maybe not quite the banks of the River Bolling, but on and off the banks of the River Bolling until we get to the, the runway of Manchester Airport. Well, the footpath now has taken us some distance above the River Bolling. You can see it down there, there's a weir down there. Now, the area we're heading down for is known as Giant's Castle. I'm not sure why, but this is where there'll be another bridge and we'll cross back onto the other side of the river. So. I believe this is Giant's Castle. I don't know why, but that's what it's called on the OS map. So if you, you know, know and want to comment and tell me, please do. Um, I think that's a natural weir, actually, what we're looking at, looking at the shape of it. There's another one around the corner, so we'll keep going and uh, see what we find. So you can see the water is very clear. You can clearly see the stone at the bottom of it. And look, there's another bridge ahead. So we're heading towards this bridge, we're going to cross the river and the, the footpath, you know, as I said, it follows the river bank. I'm not sure exactly which way it's going to go, but it's going to take us, as I keep saying, towards Manchester Airport as a sign. I just noticed it says the bridge is called Giant's Castle Bridge. It's definitely Giant's Castle. Isn't that really nice natural weir there? We'll have another look actually from on the, the bridge itself. There we go, see Giant's Castle Bridge. Right up here. Really nice walk places. And there is the natural weir. And it looks like once I've crossed the bridge, I've got some climbing up a lot of steps. Look at that, there's a little stream going up there. I've got to go up all those steps now, so I'm going to climb up and keep going. I'm just coming to the end of the National Trust's land, the Style Estate, so there we go, there's the sign hiding in the trees. Um, the path we've been following is the North Cheshire Way, have a look at these little signs down here. So maybe one day, I know I do say this a lot, maybe one day, but maybe one day we can walk the North Cheshire Way and I'll make a whole series of videos. I don't know when that'll be, but you know, it'll be something I'd like to do. I'm going to go up there, you can see people part here. To, to enjoy the walk I've just enjoyed. This must be what was once the old road, because if we have a look at the River Bolin from here, so we will find River Bolin again a bit further up. You can see the new road there. There's a big inn there. I'm gonna carry on up here and cross the main road and then pick up the footpath again and continue till I get to these tunnels. And then what I'm gonna do, I've got to walk all the way back back through the style estate which is you know a very nice walk but i've got to go all the way back through there because my car is still up at style probably now two and a half miles away so i've got to walk all the way back to style pick up the car and then my plan is to drive us right round so i'm gonna have to go i mean this won't all be on the video but i'm gonna go drive down to wilmslow come back up here because this road well, not this road but the one on the other side of the hedge the new road is what also goes through a tunnel 
onto Manchester Airport. So we're then going to drive through those tunnels under Manchester Airport. So we're going to go, when I say airport, I mean actually just the runway. Drive through the tunnels under the runway at Manchester Airport. So it really is probably one of the most um, unusual walks and drives I've ever done. But, you know, that's what I like to do. Oh, that's interesting. There's another, there's another entrance to the style estate there. I might go back that way. Might be a slightly shorter route, but I wanted to follow the River Bolling as much as possible. So when I get to here, um, I'm not entirely sure where to go. So, ah, oh, yeah, there's a big roundabout. I'm going to go off down there, and somewhere on the other side of the roundabout, I shall find the footpath, and I'll be able to continue till we get to the runway. Well, the footpath has now taken on a very different form. Uh, no longer are we following the river Bolin, we're out here on this bank and over there is the airport, you can clearly see the control tower, you can see all the aeroplanes waiting, there's three terminals at the airport, so we're going to follow this path, it goes down there, so it's actually two runways, so the run one way ends about over there, it's this second one that comes right down out into the countryside and that's the one we're going to go underneath. So. The footpath only goes under one runway. If you drive, which we're going to do later, you'll go under the two runways. So you go through one tunnel and then come out into the open for a little bit, and then you go through the second tunnel under the second runway. So this really is quite an extraordinary footpath. It's just so different to um, probably any footpath I've ever walked down before. That was why, you know, when I saw it on the map, I just had to come and do it. But anyway, very soon we shall be going underneath the runway. So after walking and walking, I've probably walked at least three miles from where I left my car up at Stile. I'm coming down towards the River Bolin again. I can hear the water and I can see the tunnel. It's massive. Look at it. It's huge. I, did not, I didn't really know what to expect, but that... Let's go up onto this bridge. We're going through the tunnel. Let's go onto this bridge and have a look. That is so huge. I've never seen such a big a big arch tunnel in my life before that's amazing so that's what we've walked all this way to see so as i stand here on the river bolin the next job is now to um to go and and walk through that is just i can't believe how big that is though so we we'll go down we'll walk through i probably won't film all the way through but i'll certainly show you when we get to the other side <laughs> so yeah it's um I think now it's really been worth it, this walk. It's like I said, it's been a very, very long walk. Um, if you come to Quarry Bank Mill and you're going for a nice family day out, I don't suggest you do this walk. But if you're like me and you like walking along by rivers and looking for tunnels and you want to walk a long way, then, you know, do come here. But just look at it, it's amazing. So, into the tunnel. We go, it's not dark at all because it's so big, it's painted white. So, when you land in an aeroplane in Manchester, you, know, you land on top of this. It's, it's huge, there's, there's a weir just up here. In fact, there's about four weirs in the course of the tunnel. So, what I'll do, I'll show you this weir. Now, I'm going to walk through to the other side of the tunnel and then I'll show you the other end. things that are beneath airports. I'm going to keep walking and when we get to the other end I'll let you see what I find. I'm almost at the other end as I walk through what seems to be the amplified sound of water. The echoes and the sound of water echoing so you just got this constant sound of water but it's quite a, a nice relaxing sort of sound. I just can't believe just how vast this is. You know, it's um I try and describe what you could probably fit like you could fit a row of houses in here, a row of you know blocks of flats. I should think um I don't know it's it's just enormous. It's the, the, the scale it's built on. I've just never seen anything quite like it, I don't think ever before. Obviously I've been through lots of tunnels, long and short, but I've never ever seen a tunnel 
like this. Look, even as I walk away, you can't even see. There we go. M M. So it's built in 2000 yeah, when they extended the runway. So before that, you only had the one runway. But there we go. We've just come underneath the runway at Manchester Airport. As if that wasn't enough, I've got to go all the way back now. We're going to go under the other two tunnels in my larder. So we can walk all the way back and um, let's go for a drive under the runways now. We've walked under them, now let's drive under them. Well, I'm now walking back to my car at Style. So I said, you know, I, would ha I had a long walk ahead of me. So I've done that long walk, I've nearly finished, but I came a slightly different way up through the Style Country Park because I, I suddenly thought, yeah, there's one thing I didn't show you. This bridge here, it's called the Chapel Bridge. It's um, almost sort of fairy tale, mystical-like bridge here up in the gorge, spanning the gorge. There you are, there's a little sign. It says the Chapel Bridge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you over the bridge and I'm going to continue ascending the gorge on the other side and um, from there I'll get back to my car and then... As I said, we're going to get in the car, we're going to go for a drive, go through the other tunnels. So it seems funny, we've gone from Style to Manchester Airport, back to Style, and we're going to go back to Manchester Airport. But let's have a look at this bridge. And down below us, I wouldn't exactly say they're raging waters, but there's a trickle of a stream down, right down there below the leaves. And on this side, you might see the stream a bit better. The path then goes along, zigzags up there. I can see a bench right up there. Just see where that gentleman's standing. Just about above him, there's a bench up there. So I'm going to make more out there. And um, then I won't have too far to go to get back to my car. So onwards and upwards. So we're now in the car. We've driven round from Star. It's quite a long way round, even though it wasn't that far. We're just passing a hotel. I went in there for a pint on my way back to Style. I thought I'd stop there for a pint. This bridge here is over the River Bolin. Now this roundabout is where we in the wrong gear, where we um, had to walk across. So we walked from the road over there. We came across here and we went up some steps just up there. Now the tunnel is ahead of us. We're just coming up to it now. So um, ahead of us now is the tunnel under the newer of the runways and then we'll go through this one and um, if you look ahead now we can see we're just coming into the tunnel not, not as exciting and vast as what we went through on the river Bolin more just a square box this one I and mean, what we went through on the river Bolin really was so big and vast and exciting now we're in between the two runways so we left one tunnel we're going into the older tunnel now and again it's um it's quite exciting but nothing like as exciting as that one we drove through onto the River Bolin, that was a really nice surprise, just how big and exciting it was. So, this one's going on quite a long way, so we're just coming to the end of the tunnel now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and it's really worth going to Quarry Bank Mill. Maybe not walking quite as far as I did, but you know, if you want to see the tunnel, you could park at that hotel and, and walk there like I did, because that tunnel that we walked through was just really exciting so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe comment thank you very much goodbye